Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mex Mundo Kitchen. Um, today's recipe has been a very big request on a video I have in my other channel, which used to be a bilingual channel in Spanish and English, but it was a bit confusing, which is why I created separate channels. This one's the English one. And I have a very good recipe for a cough syrup in the other channel. And in this channel, I also have another different uh, recipe for cough syrup. But in the other in the other video, uh, I was getting a lot of comments if I could please share a recipe for a syrup for a sore throat. And uh, I know how horrible it feels when you're coughing and coughing and your throat hurts horrible. So I thought I would share what we use at home. It's another grandmother recipe. So these are honestly the best. It's natural stuff. It's, it's harmless unless you're allergic to something, of course. But otherwise, it's the best thing one can do for one's body. It boosts the immune system and it helps you heal in a natural way. Um, I'm not going to explain what each ingredient is for like I usually do with other videos because I, I don't want to talk so much, I tend to talk a lot. So if you guys are interested in knowing why each ingredient is effective helping you with your sore throat, you can just read in the bottom in the description and I'll try to be as helpful as possible so you guys can read and kind of understand uh, why these ingredients help you. The ingredients you need to make your sore throat syrup are one cup of water, four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, eight tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of ground ginger, two teaspoons of lemon juice. Okay, so this recipe is honestly super easy. When you guys make it at home, it's gonna take you literally seconds. The video is longer because I'm a very chitty chatty person and I like talking and babbling with you guys, but whatever, right? <laughs> so basically you're going to need a bowl, a, a hand whisk, and um, you can use a jar, a little bottle. If you use a bottle, you're gonna need a funnel to get the syrup in there. If you use a jar, you can just pour it. You don't really need the funnel. And well, here comes the recipe, super easy. Uh, in your bowl, you're going to put your water, your apple cider vinegar, your lemon juice, the cayenne pepper, the ground ginger, and the honey. And once everything is in there, you're just going to whisk it in together, blend it well, and you're done. That's why it's so easy, it's so simple, and you can make small portions and it'll be... Uh, you can make as much as you need, obviously. Uh, once you're done mixing, you're going to pour it either in your bottle, in your jar, wherever you want, and you're done. <laughs> okay, so we are done. Uh, basically, you just have to give it a shake every time you use it just to make sure everything gets integrated again. Uh, something even more important than the shaking part is labeling syrup for a uh, sore throat. You don't want to think it's Valentina sauce and then drizzle it over your chips. It will taste really nice, but it's not a Valentina hot sauce. It's for your sore throat. Um, since it has honey, it's not. you can't give it to anyone under one year old because it's, you can't give honey to little kids. And since it has cayenne pepper, not all children like spicy stuff and it is a bit spicy, so that depends on your personal taste and then your children's taste. Um, I think that would be it. As you saw, it's super, super easy to make. The cayenne pepper is the key ingredient. You, can, you automatically feel how it numbs your throat. Whenever you have it, it you feel how it numbs your throat and that's super, it, you rest and that's the whole point. You feel like a, a rest in your throat. I hope you guys make it, you enjoy it, that it's helpful for you and your family, and I'll see you guys in the next video.